there everybody, it is your Nothing King Goku and I'm here with a new video. This time we are going to be looking up weird questions on Google. Basically I'm going to basically use the uh, Google uh, search by voice to access some questions and apparently it gives some pretty interesting and weird answers. Um, yeah, this was inspired because, uh, a friend of mine, who shall not be named, decided to have me look up some things on Google that was weird, and I said, hey, that would make for a great, interesting video, so, here we are, why not? So, uh, I got a couple of questions here I wrote down that we are going to ask. Well, this should be very interesting, to say the least, uh, but if you can do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. And like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Now, without further ado, let's jump into this, shall we? Oh boy! Okay, so here is the first question. Why were cornflakes made? According to news.com.au, he invented cornflakes in 1878 in the hope that plain food would stop people masturbating. What? 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 Whoa! <laughs> Hold on! Oh my god, calm, calm now, calm Wait, Cornflakes was created to stop that? I, I love how, I love how Google stops specifically at that point. There's a lot more that it explains, but that is why Corn- I'm never gonna look at Cornflakes again. All the Tony Baker videos that I've watched. Oh my god, oh my, oh, oh my cummy. All the Tony Baker videos I've watched. This is, this is groundbreaking. That's why I'm never gonna look at cornflakes again! What the time I say my buddy, hey, you know why those cornflakes were made? Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Oh my cubby, this is uh... It was definitely a weird one, to say the least. I, I did not know that. I did not know cornflakes were made specifically to stop... Um... That. Well... The more you know... <sighs> Let's move on. What is raspberry made of? According to HuffPost, you may have heard the rumor by now, certain artificial flavorings like vanilla, raspberry and strawberry are made from the anal secretions of a beaver. If what? you haven't heard that rumor, you might have just spit out your coffee. Uh, oh, 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 no, no, no. Disgusting! I'm never gonna eat vanilla again! No! It can't be! Not vanilla! Not strawberries! Not raspberries! No! No! Oh. 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 I need a minute. I need a moment. Cut! Cut! Okay, I'm back. Whew, I needed to take a moment from that one. That- that one was... That was not something I needed to hear. That was very... Unsettling, to say the least. <sighs> what? Well, well, I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna eat... Vanilla or- or strawberries or... Raspberries again! But... We gotta continue, I'll power through. Alright, let's go with the next question. <sighs> If you, I wouldn't blame you if you stopped the video right here, guys. I would not blame you. But we're gonna keep going. Who was your first crush? According to Elite Daily, no matter how old you get, you never forget your first childhood crush. Mine was a boy named Lenny. I spotted him really? on the first day of first grade and immediately started crushing on him. He had a light blonde bowl cut that danced around his face when he ran and his eyes were red and puffy from crying when his mom left. Well then, that's... that was something I did not know. Apparently Google had a crush on a, a boy named Lenny. In the first grade. Oh. In the first grade? Wait a minute. You, how old are you, YouTube? But that's the next question. Let, let's, let's go to the next question, actually. Google, how old are you? Fifteen years. Well... 
Wow. Wow, you're old. You're old. So I, I'm assuming you must have hit on Lenny back in 2011? I'm assuming? So this whole thing with Lenny must have been happening around, around 2011, which would make sense you're 15 right now, so... Huh! Well, alright then. Google's 15. Had a birthday. And apparently you're worth 15 point... 15 billion dollars. I wish I could have the point 15 right there because, uh, yeah. That would be 150 million and I would like to have that. But we all can't have what we want. Right, Susan? Right? Right? Ah, <sighs> moving on. Beam me up, Scotty. Ah, uh, can I do it, Cap'n? Ah, uh, do not have the power. Ha! <laughs> it did it! It did, it did the reference. Ah, uh, good. Uh, all right. Okay, Google. All right. We can be friends now. It did the. It did the. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. What does the fox say? Ga ding 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 a ding a ding. expect that at all. I I did not expect that at all, guys. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Well. A uh, diggy ding 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 diggy ding 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 to you too. Yeah, I ruined that. Let's get. Let's move on. What came first, the chicken or the egg? According to Wikipedia, put more simply by Neil deGrasse Tyson, which came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg, laid by a bird that was not a chicken. Uh, okay. So, the egg laid by a bird that was not a chicken. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm. Let me, let me rephrase this. The chicken or the egg, which came first? According to Treehugger, so in a nutshell, two birds that weren't really chickens created a chicken egg, and hence, we have an answer. The egg came first, and then it hatched a chicken. See, see, now I'm getting conflicting answers here. You're confusing me on this one, Google. Okay, the last one said it was the chicken, but this one said it was the egg. Or, well, it wasn't a chicken, it was a bird. But, but still, a creature came... Uh, 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 well, okay, may maybe... May okay, so maybe, like, like the, the, the bird had the egg, so technically the egg came first. I, I, ah, uh, my head. My head hurts from this one. I'm gonna take a mulligan on this one, guys. I'm gonna take a mulligan, cause this one, this one hurts! This one hurts. Alright, so let's do one more. Ugh. Oh, I know the perfect way to end this. <laughs> Goku or Vegeta? According to Korra, Vegeta Bryfly becomes stronger than him when he ascends to a Super Saiyan and remains stronger than him until Goku trains in the hyperbolic time chamber. Goku has been stronger ever since. What, 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 what? Vegeta briefly becomes stronger than him when he ascends to Super Saiyan. I'm, I think they're implying that he was stronger than me during the early Android saga? Which, I don't see how. Nothing proves that until I train in the hyperbolic time chamber. I mean, you could say he was stronger than me when he became Super Vegeta, and then I trained in the hyperbolic time chamber. But then it goes to this whole thing where I've been stronger ever since. By the end of GT, we're both. E oh my god. Oh no. 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 There is so many things wrong with this that I can't get into. Uh, well. Whatever. Anywho, guys. So that was asking Google some weird questions. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and wasn't completely grossed out and was. Somewhat entertained. I know I was weirded out by this. Uh, if you guys have any uh, weird questions you want me to ask Google, be sure to type them in the descriptions down below. Maybe I'll put them in another video. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. It shows that you like the video and you want more of this. I don't know why you torture yourselves, but you know, I guess the pain will make you stronger. Yeah, yeah, I made a, I made a rose reference. 
So what? What are you gonna do about it? Sue me! I'm just kidding. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye!